Hello and welcome to Study with Sudhir. My name is T.S. Sudhir and we are looking at the changes in the ICSE syllabus for the academic year 2020-21. And with me to discuss what changes have been made as far as the physics syllabus for both class 10 and 9 are concerned is Mr. Shivram who teaches physics at the Sherwood Public School in Sikandrabad in Hyderabad. Thank you very much for joining us here, sir. Uh, so let's get into it straight away. What are the changes? Because the ICSE Council claims that the changes are up to a reduction of almost 25%, though I do believe that it's not uniform in all the subjects. What are the changes as far as class 10 is concerned for the subject of physics, sir? Yes, uh, as far as class 10 is concerned, like uh, we have the topic uh, in force work power energy, mm. uh, that is uh, the concept of levers was mm. deleted. Right. Under simple machines, it is a part, lever so after that uh, we have in uh, light chapter mm. uh, we have a topic called power of a lens mm. so in power of a lens there are certain numericals over it so those numericals are just deleted only we are giving just a qualitative uh, information of power of a lens okay so yes so coming to the third topic that is sound sound uh, in that uh, sound uh, the reduced part is the noise pollution and the sound level, which we say like different things. Uh, hmm. I mean, what are the sound levels in the different areas? So right. that so part was. So sound level, noise pollution, quality and waveform, uh, waveform examples are not part of the syllabus for this academic year. Yes, sir. Yes, yes, right. true. That's true. Yes. Yeah. And uh, coming to and uh, coming to that electricity part, hmm. uh, we have got transformers completely deleted. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got uh, the DC motor part, only the basic part, like, like just an uh, in introduction to it. And uh, apart from that, we have got an AC generator. Detail working of AC generator is not included, only just the qualitative treatment of it. Okay. So, so other than this, we have the topic heat, complete, complete heat is there. So we don't have any deletions in that. Yes. And we have uh, atomic physics that is modern physics mm. in that the radio uh, what is that a nuclear fusion and fission is completely deleted yes. from the class yeah so the equations of fusion and fission have been removed so uh, as a physics teacher do you think it will make a qualitative difference to the understanding uh, with the deletion of all these topics or it doesn't really make so much of a difference uh, basically coming to that lever part it doesn't make any difference sir mm. because the uh, when we go to class 11th it's completely mechanics the basic right. forces what are the forces involved involved in that that is uh, the complete uh, technical part of it right. so levers uh, doesn't make a difference basically mm. okay. and uh, coming to this power of a lens also we are again studying in the class 12th mm. so that's not an issue because again uh, basic uh, thing basic introduction introductory part of it we are giving it right sir right and uh, of course coming to that uh, electricity and uh, magnetism Mm -hmm. uh, that is again application mm -hmm. and again we are dealing in the uh, class 12 of okay. course right now in class 12 we have that mm -hmm. so we are just giving an information of uh, ac generator or dc motor. okay and it's the uh, same is the case with the the, the okay. modern so course. so in terms of uh, periods uh, i can see from your table you are kind of saving on something like 24 class periods by the deletion of all the syllabus right yes yes what is the situation as far as class 9 is concerned? What is what has been omitted for class 9 ICSC for physics? Yeah. Coming to the class 9, we have a first topic that is measurements. Hmm. In that, vernier calipers and uh, screw gauge is deleted. From it. Okay. And uh, secondly, we have uh, motion in one dimension. Hmm. And in that, uh, there are equations of motion. Those equations of motion, derivations are excluded. Okay. Of course, numerical giving equations, that is there. Okay. And uh, coming to the light, light lesson, in that we have a mirror formula. So numericals in the mirror formula are excluded, excluded, right? Okay. And uh, coming to that electricity part, hmm. in that electricity part, uh, there is an omission of just a small topic hmm. that uh, electromagnet and its uses. Hmm. Okay. So the remaining syllabus is the same. Okay. Sure. And here you are gaining some 20 class periods. But uh, yeah. tell me largely, I mean, over the past many weeks now, you are teaching physics in an online kind of space. What do you think is the big difference that you're facing between a physical class and an online class when it comes to teaching concepts of physics is concerned? 
so basically physics is a a subject where the concept has to be delivered very clearly absolutely concept because yes. once the concept is uh, known to the children i think they are best at it mm. so the concept delivery is uh, is only possible when we do uh, we perform some activity like we show some demonstration mm. or we show some uh, like some sort of like activity like thing yes yes so because in online classes uh, we are just seeing the screen mm. and uh, and we have got uh, different issues like children are switching off the video we have to constantly tell them please switch on and we don't know like uh, mm. and and apart from that we 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 are just finding out whether they have understood or not it's just like talking to a box yes. <laughs> it's completely a different kind of thing rather right. so, so, so i can I, that, uh, yeah so yes, i mean yes. you, you are not very happy with the system and you would want things to get back to normal as soon as possible as so, yes sir definitely yes yes, yes. i right. but because that uh, physical because in the physical classroom we have got one to one interaction we are seeing yes. their faces we are seeing the, their enthusiasm True. their josh to learn like that yes. somewhat like that right so in terms of you mentioned josh so in, do you think that the josh is less when they are sitting at home and they may possibly have other distractions taking place inside uh, their home uh, domain in that sense do you see a fall in the level in the concentration levels when you are teaching them in an online kind of a medium basically one important difference i find is physically when they are present no? in between mm -hmm. we have got activity periods we have mm -hmm. games periods we have sub all that yeah so uh, it uh, recharges the children to mm -hmm. just uh, be fresh in attending mm -hmm. the classes Whereas here so, it's I mean, back to back online classes. Yes, yes. Of course, we do find some activity periods, mm -hmm. but uh, I I feel like it doesn't comply to hundred yeah. percent of it. I mean, how much of activity can you possibly do sitting in front of a laptop or a mobile phone? Yes. That also a limitation is there. Thank you very much, Mr. Shivram, for your time. Uh, I do hope that yes. things get back to normal as soon as possible. But yes, with this reduction of syllabus, at least there will be some mm -hmm. amount of breathing space. that many of the students will have because i think the 2021 batch is going to face quite a challenging time do you expect that the board exams could also be rescheduled do you think it will have an impact on the timing of the board exams in february march yeah i yeah i do think they may reschedule the yeah. maybe delayed by a few days or a week yes, yes. yeah right thank you very much for your thank you very much for your time sir all the best to you thank you yes sir thank you sir yes. thank you